Hi, this is Dr. Charles Kuntz, and I'm a surgeon at Southpaws. Today I'm going to talk to you about the removal of a soft tissue sarcoma on a dog and then the placement of an axial pattern flap to close the defect. The other thing we did was applied vacuum-assisted closure to the flap in order to encourage uh, blood supply. The proposed surgical margin at three centimeters away from the primary tumor is marked using electrocautery. At that point, an incision is made along the proposed line, uh, going all the way through the skin, the subcutaneous tissues, and down through the muscle fascia, which is overlying the cranial tibial muscle. Electrocautery is used to uh, provide hemostasis and also for dissection of the deeper tissues. Once the fascia is raised, electrocautery is used to cut the connective tissue, which lies between the fascia and the muscle underlying. Electrocautery is used to mark the skin for the proposed axial pattern flap, which is based on the lateral geniculate artery. Further dissection is very meticulous to avoid damaging branches of the lateral geniculate artery. As we approach the end of the flap, it's transilluminated in order to identify the feeding vessel. The flap is then moved into the recipient site to confirm that adequate co coverage will be provided. In this case, we were a little concerned about the viability of the flap, and so we soaked it in warm saline, which had lidocaine added in order to cause va vasodilation. After this was performed, we could see that the edges of the flap started bleeding. Closure was performed in two layers using 3 OPDS in a simple continuous pattern.
At this point, stoma paste was placed all the way around the flap in order to provide an airtight seal for vacuum-assisted closure. A laparotomy sponge was placed over the flap. The entire the area was then sprayed was placed with an over the laparotomy spray sponge to encourage the entire the area was sprayed of the using material. off-site spray. An Ioban drape was placed over the entire wound and the colostomy paste. Suction was then applied to confirm that there were no leaks. The rest of a standard modified Robert Jones bandage was then placed. Here we can see the patient resting comfortably after surgery with the suction applied to the vacuum-assisted closure. Surgical margins were inked. <laughs>